Are you looking to create a digital bullet journal? Have you heard of an app called Notion? Today we are going to combine both and create a bullet journal in Notion. Welcome to A Slice of Haley, where I share a variety of videos weekly on planning and wellness, all in hopes that you can be a better version of yourself day after day. If you want to learn more about Notion and digital planning, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video comes up. Today I will be sharing how to set up your bullet journal in Notion. But first a little bit of backstory. I used to use a bullet journal just like this one here for four plus years. And if I'm being honest, the reason why I started using bullet journals is I fell in love with how great they all looked on Instagram, but now I have so many. I used those bullet journals for a hot minute. I would start them, I would set them up, I would make tons of Pinterest boards about different bullet journal techniques. I would use them for sporadically for a few weeks, maybe a few days, and then I'd stop using them. And it was all because I hated the process of planning out the journals and how they looked. And I will say, I did fall victim to comparison or imposter syndrome that my bullet journals weren't going to be pretty enough if I were to share them on Instagram, which wasn't the point of why I was doing the bullet journal in the first place. Fast forward to this year and with the COVID-19 and the lockdown, I needed a place to be able to share my thoughts in a private setting. And I honestly, I turned back to, I turned back to a bullet journal and I started it in I started this bullet journal in April and I did it religiously for a few months, but it was more of a self-care uh, process for me instead of anything else, but I stopped again. And that's where I found Notion. I actually stumbled across uh, a fellow YouTuber, Michelle B, who uses Notion to plan everything about her life. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. She's got some amazing videos about planning and life and productivity. And because of that, I downloaded Notion, which I got the free version, and I started creating my life dashboard, my planning hub, and from there it evolved into, why don't I just make a bullet journal, but on Notion? But now it's time to set one up. Before I dove into creating the digital version of my bullet journal, I took a few minutes to flip through all of my old bullet journals to see what, what was I using that I liked, what did I often create and never use. So I encourage you to take a moment, pause the video, grab a piece of paper, a pen, and all your bullet journals, and flip through them and see what are you using and what are you not using, and make a list for what you're going to bring into your digital bullet journal. Did you make your list? Great. Share in the comments below your top three must-haves that you are going to migrate into your digital bullet journal. You never know, you might be able to help inspire somebody else. For mine, I included daily views, monthly views, a future log, and important dates. That's where I started. Very simple, very plain. I wanted to have a monthly overview that I could see anything that was coming up, any birthdays, anniversaries, events for whenever we were able to leave our homes. Uh, I wanted to have the daily views so that I would be able to use it both as task planning and as a diary. I did create a future log for the next six months and to be honest, I haven't used it. So that will be something I will be cutting out of my bullet journal. I also created an important dates section and this was extremely important to me because I am going to be leaving Facebook. Q, shock and awe. I'm curious, leave a comment below. Have you left Facebook personally or are you willing to ever cut ties with Facebook? I'm curious to hear from you. Other things you can include is a running to-do list, fitness plans, meal plans, recipe trackers, collections, books, movies, podcasts, YouTubers that you want to follow. It's also extremely robust, so you can plan out a whole project and have a lot of sub-collections to it as well. 
and you never have to worry about running out of a piece of paper in your bullet journal or having to migrate to another one because it's all safe within one's place. With that in mind, let's get setting up the bullet journal. Now with Notion open, you're able to see what my bullet journal looks like. Uh, this is probably the second or third iteration of my bullet journal. Uh, if you did watch a previous video, the plan with me, it may look a little bit different. So this is the direction we will be going in today. We will be creating the bullet journal, setting up the future log page, and then creating a monthly view and a daily view with templates. I will create future videos about how I created the habit tracker and set up some of the collection pages. To get started, click the plus button or add a page. Here we're going to write bullet journal. Ultimately, you could call it whatever you want. Really nice thing is you can add an icon. Uh, you can also add in custom images, just as I did over here for my YouTube channel. You can add in a cover image. There's a lot to choose from. I like just to use the Unsplash, which is free stock photos. From here, we are going to create a few pages. So you do that by hitting slash. You get some options here that you can uh, create. We're going to select page. We're going to create the monthly view. Go back. Create a daily view. And the future log. So each of these all have the same layout as the original page. Uh, as I mentioned before, I don't actually use my future log, but I do know that this is a popular thing that people do like to have. We'll go ahead and pick a icon. And what I did was I added in the months. So we are in July now, so we will add August, September, October, November, December. Once you have them typed out, if you highlight them all, you can turn them into a different style just by clicking these little dots here and set it hovering over turn into H1, H2, H3. I picked H3, it still stands out from the page, but it's not as large. You're also able to sort these into columns. Now I can take December and put it under the September heading, but if for whatever reason, August, September, and October are different heights, uh, they will vary in uh, spacing. So I just added it here. So it was on the other side. Now we are going to set up the monthly view. For the monthly view, we're gonna add an icon with a sunflower. Again, you can add a cover image. For each of my months, I do change this cover image just so that there's a bit of variation. Now this view is going to be used as a template. Uh, so we want to put in the bare minimums of what we want month after month. So you may want to have some goals or action items. Something high level for the month. What we're going to do is add in a table database in line because it is specific to only this one page. And for this, we will create an overview, a monthly overview. So this first column here is the title column. You can't delete this and you can't uh, change it to anything else. So we're just going to set this to be week. We're just going to set this to be weekday. Change this to number. We'll change this to be a text field instead and have it read as details. If you click and hold day, you can drag it over to the one side. You can even reshape these columns here. Actually, we need to add a column for weekdays, and it needs to be a select field. Weekday. We'll drag this down to the end. 
Again, you don't need the title for this one. We're going to actually start with it as text because if you type in the words separated by a comma and then switch it to select, it will automatically create them for you. Now, if we change this to select, they automatically disappear and create into options. I'm going to speed up the video and add in all these days. You will see here I did add 31 days. Again, this is a template and it is important to have it set up that you can delete something later if the month only has 30 days or 28 days in the case of February. Uh, you can do that at any time just by hovering over here and clicking delete. Now we have the month view set up. Turn this into an H2. For your goals, you can have it be either to-do boxes, bullets, numbers, or a toggle list. I have it as a toggle list because I wanted to have it by focus area. So that is a quick, easy way to set up your month view. Again, there's opportunities to add more to this page as you go based on whatever it is that you are going to need for your month view. Go back to the bullet journal page. We're now going to set up the day view. Now for the daily view, uh, there's a lot of opportunity and options here. Sometimes people use it as just a running task list. Some people have used it as a diary entry. And as I mentioned before, I amalgamated the two. On mine, I do have a few things set up. I have a notable news section. This is if I want to remember something that's happening. I track my mood, what the weather is like outside, and what I have been eating that day. I also include appointments, gratitude, and like I said, a journal entry. Now, I don't do the journal entry all the time, just depends on how I feel that day. We can drag these over and get this page set up. Let's see Now we have the daily view set up. You can add in some to do's here. I just put in a few so it's always there and I can add in some bullets if there were appointments. Now that we have the daily view set up, we'll go back to the bullet journal and we're going to create a template for these. Now we're going to set up a template button for both the month view and the day view. To set up a template, you hit slash and just type in template. You're going to create a new item button. From here, you're going to grab the month view and you're going to just drag it into the template. You can click this little box here, delete out that and change this to add new month. Close. We'll do that one more time. Template for the daily view. Again, we're going to grab daily view, drag it in here, delete the other one, add new daily. And hit close. Now, anytime we needed to add a new month, all we have to do is click this one button, and a new month option will create here and it'll open up. We can set this to be July. And if we go back, we now have a July here. Also, 
You can grab the two little dots and you can drag them around. And to do a new daily, just click the new day view, change this to whatever date it is that day, and go ahead and start filling it in. That is the basic setup of how to create a bullet journal. As I mentioned, there will be subsequent videos about other features that you can set up in your bullet journal. I hope you were able to set up your bullet journal today in Notion. If there was any sections that you wanted to go back over, rewind, pause, watch again, I found that that was the most helpful when I was setting up my bullet journal. Just a friendly reminder, when you're setting up your bullet journal in Notion, just the same as you would in a paper journal, this is a very personal process. So if there's anything that I set up that you don't want, just exclude it. And if there's something I missed that you think I should have put in mine, leave a comment below. Maybe I'll add it to a future video. The biggest takeaway from all of this is by having a digital bullet journal, you are not confined to the number of pages in a book, whether you have the right pens, if it's gonna bleed through, you're actually planning out for the sake of planning your life so that hopefully you can be a little bit better day after day. Thanks again for watching this video. I do hope that if you enjoyed it, you will hit that thumbs up button and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. Until next time, happy planning.